Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and I almost cried when I realized that I hadn't pushed the play button. <laughs> and I finished the reading and I went to quit and I realized it didn't film any of it. So we're going to break it down because this is the BTS group reading with all of the correct members in it. <laughs> and my apologies for thinking that G-Dragon was part of this group. I guess it has to do with a lot of the readings wanting to be done on uh, the BTS group with G-Dragon. So I guess I just assumed that he was a part of this group. and my bad because I haven't been doing any homework on these guys because my my subscribers requested that I don't do that because then the cards um, tell the story right so we're going to break it down and I'm just gonna go over what I have here because it was such a beautiful reading it just seems like a crying shame not to get this on tape so I have John Cook here and he got the third eye chakra opening, number six, and the angels are with you. I got the breaking up, setting boundaries, divorce or an end, and an emotional withdrawal for Jimin. We have choose wisely, create identity, success or ego. And that one there is for Rap Monster. And then we have thoughts and equality, and this is J-Hope. He's thinking about somebody here and uh, about having equality within some type of relationship here. Then we have here, we have Jin, which is the truth reclaiming power rules of the game. He seems to be suffering in silence over something. Number nine, we have broken heart, regret, let down, or interference with temptation, which is quite fitting, I thought. And this is Shiga. And then we have Spirit says there's a false person in V's life. He needs to have courage. That's what Spirit says. So then we got this group together, and these are the cards that came out. We have Occupation, which is quite fitting because it has to do with the whole group and this is the bottom of the deck right and it has to talk about their occupation so and that they need to treat their bodies well by eating properly maybe somebody's been eating too much junk food um, or what have you but spirit is saying to have your temple as your body so Let's see, we also have for Jean Cook, we got judgment, making a judgment call on something here. The angels are guiding him and standing up and making boundaries uh, when it comes to something or other. We're gonna pull some more cards since all these cards were already pulled. And uh, yeah, I just, I couldn't believe it. I gotta tell you, I was uh, <laughs> shocked to see that it hadn't been recording. So let's see, we have Jimin and uh, something about feeling stuck here, um, maybe not having all the information and just feeling bound and not able to move forward. Maybe having um, with the five of swords, that's like uh, crying over spilt milk, kind of like um, my pouting card. No, that's not my pouting card, is it? I can't remember. This isn't the right way, so it's this one I like really a lot. Like this is the Light Sears Tarot, and it's a really great uh, one of my favorites, right? So then we have um, Rap Monster, and we have making a judgment call, maybe manifesting, but he's gonna have to maybe keep his ego out of it to get success. He has to keep his own identity and still be creative. So he's going to have to choose wisely on things when it comes to certain things about his ego. Then we have here, this is the pouting card here. Sorry, I knew I had the pouting card here somewhere. So he's kind of um, upset and pouting over maybe not being able to be with this person, this Queen of Cups, who is a sweetheart. So he's thinking about her, about equality and the beautiful relationship that could be, he's kind of pouting over that he can't be with her right now. Then we have 
Jin, no, we have, yeah, that was J-Hope. Then we have Jin and he's thinking about marriage and all the possibilities, it looks like. Um, so many choices to think about wanting to pick the right person. Kind of suffering in silence. There might be something going on in his home life. Um, it, each individually, they're going to have their own situations. And then all together is going to be in the middle here. So there might be some kind of having to have some type of truth to reclaim his power back when it comes to maybe ideas about marriage. Then we have a broken heart, like regret, letdown, or interference, and some temptation for sugar, and maybe even a third party because of a passionate new beginning that he may have given his stick to. And so then we have the false person and some truth. And spirit says to have courage because some type of truth that he's going to have to walk away from. So we've got some really great things on each of them. But in the middle is what I'm really interested in because I just thought this was so beautiful. We have justice here when it comes to the love of working. Um, maybe having to have a balance between work and play, like love, and justice here. They're all getting justice for some kind of wronging here that's going to clear things up for them, I think, for, well, not that I think, that I feel for work. So uh, it's like balancing some kind of scales. I kind of feel like it's... Um, uh, yeah, some type of something that happened, but things are all going to be smoothed out and it's all going to blow over uh, when it comes to their occupation. They're going to be able to balance out what they need to for work and love and get some justice in the end with the sun card. Everything's gonna be so beautiful for these guys. Everything's going to work out. They're going to get their justice. They're going to get balance and it's going to be a beautiful day for them. Like within this group, I feel like they're all going to put everything they have going on aside and they're going to come together as a group to make sure that this all happens. They all are on the same page. So, <laughs> I still can't believe that that didn't push play properly and I went on thinking that <laughs> I was recording. But in any case, let's get a couple more cards here for each of them and I'm just going to pull from the top. We have a change in the wind so this might be what's going on to make this judgment call coming up here for him and maybe putting some boundaries up what do we have here ah milk and honey so he seems to be um, withdrawing from something maybe setting some boundaries of his own maybe ending something breaking up with someone he's a little sad and depressed about that kind of in his head but in the end he's going to have his milk and honey things will work out for Jimin then we have for rat musta we have come to the edge so there might be something that he is going to have to choose over but or choose wisely about and he's going to make that judgment call let it go he's going to manifest something and let it go to spirit and spirit says come to the edge we want to make sure you're going to um, let this go so come to the edge jump and we will catch you so it's kind of what I'm feeling there then we have uh, that was rock monster now we have J-Hope Oh, now this is a soulmate for him. And he has been thinking about her, about equality. It's this beautiful Queen of Cups who's nurturing, loving, beautiful um, soul inside. You know, that wonderful marriage material, tender hearted, very sensitive, compassionate, very intuitive. And wow, she is, he is pouting that he can't be with her right now, it feels. And she is a soulmate for him. Now, let's see who's next. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four. So this is Jin, Sugar, and V. So let's see, what do we get for Jin? We have go to C. So he's got to explore his options, I feel, when it says to go to C. Maybe uh, maybe a place that he can be on his own and kind of ponder what kind of options he maybe has. And maybe he has more than one option that he might have to choose from. And to speak his truth no matter what. Even if he's got five women that he is choosing from, he needs to be truthful to himself to reclaim that power. Even though he seems to be suffering in silence, um, there's rules with everything. So he's going to need to ponder that, I feel. Even if he has to take a break and go off on his own to decide things. Then we have for sugar, we have clean it up. So and with this broken heart, regret, maybe some interference of a third party on a new passionate beginning that he may have started, someone else came into the picture, maybe there was regret, maybe that person felt let down by him by going off with someone else, and he's going to have to clean some things up here and face the music, I feel. And with V. What do we have for V? We have co-create. So he needs a new beginning, uh, someone that he can uh, really relate to. Whoever this false person is, courage is needed to be able to walk away because of some type of truth that he's going to find out about this person. Now in the um, in prior readings, I've had a false person in his in his vicinity, in his group, or in his um, immediate people that he's with, uh, or maybe even a significant other that he's interested in, or is dating secretly, or whatever. But there's some truth that needs to be had here about this false person and he needs to walk away and co-create with somebody that is on his level i kind of feel like um when i said upping the ante that means like raising the bar that everybody else has to come up to meet sort of like your energy if your energy is up higher and you're um playing with people that are at lower energies um, they're asking you to come down to their level and all I was saying with upping the ante is that they're going to raise the bar up so everybody else has to come up to meet them and I, I mean that in a great way because I feel like these guys are going to find some type of niche that no one else has found yet something that no one else has done yet and I kind of feel like they're going to rise up the bar and everyone else is going to have to rise up to meet them and I feel like it's going to be a great success with the Sun card here. Let's see, we have Orphan. So, <sighs> on the bottom of the deck, it's possible that maybe they are feeling that by their fans because of whatever happened. And I still feel like there was something that happened either in the past or is coming up that they didn't do it. I don't know what that means. I just, I kind of feel like it wasn't a decision that was made. It was just something that happened. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's what I'm feeling with that. And maybe you all know, I don't know. Um, I'm just reading the cards and telling you the feelings that I'm getting from these cards. So what can we end up with? Let's do, let's do this one. Get those. Just grabbing some cards. So we're gonna get some angel messages to end this reading. So this one here, I'm going to keep, ah, the horse. And it's kind of funny that the zebra is here and a horse and the power animal for Jean-Cook is the animal spirit guide is the guardian to you and you're happy or you're helping or is helping you with this situation. Sorry about that. I can't seem to talk today. Okay, let's flip up for that. Visual, 
Visualize success. Okay, so this is something that is a, a negative Nancy mindset, kind of that emotional withdrawal. So maybe setting boundaries, maybe it was a breakup. I don't think any of them are married, or maybe one of them is, I'm not sure, but a divorce or an ending happened, maybe with family members, could be with the love. But um, having those negative feelings, needing to rise up with those feelings so they aren't negative Nancy kind of feeling, right? Let's see. Or a Debbie Downer. Let's see. Parents. Okay. So choosing wisely. And it could be some kind of... Um, let's see what it says here before I say anything. <laughs> with parents. Let's see if it matches what I'm feeling. The divine truth is your parents... Uh oh, what was that? Eternity. Sorry about that. The divine truth is your parents eternally love you for the best of your their ability. The angels are helping you to heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. So there may have been some mother-father issues, maybe um, Parents were judging maybe some of the things they were doing or something along those lines. Having to uh, get out of his ego, claim his identity and his success and being creative, choosing wisely when it came to what he wanted for his life as an individual and coming to the edge and letting it go and letting God. So let's see what we have. Oh, that's right. I was just going to keep doing this. <laughs> Law of Attraction. Relationship and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So, wow. Law of Attraction and look what he brought in. His soulmate. Wow. And I just love that. And that there is for J-Hope. So, let's see what else we got. Vegan. See, there's the vegan and the temple. So, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you the boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. And we talked about frequency, which is uh, something I touched on already, and that's quite fitting. And maybe, um, maybe some of the parents want them to get married, maybe want grandkids or uh, something along those lines <laughs> when it comes to choosing things. And we have, uh, who's next? We have Shiga. What's up for Shiga? Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So I kind of feel like he's going to go with his intuition when it comes to a choice. Maybe how this interference happened, how to deal with it, giving that truth and owning it. Okay? Let's see. We have... Oh, this was the truth. This was the passion here. So passion maybe gets him into trouble a little. Okay, let's see. We have V. So he has the false person. Let's see. Claim or clear yourself. Ask angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed by false people. So this is kind of fitting for him as well. And I'm really liking this reading for them all. Let's see what the message is for them all as a group. Emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to all of us. And I kind of feel like they give messages that people, they're uplifting. They're not Denny, Debbie Downers. They are things that are kind of very uplifting and hopeful and a good energy with it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, in any case, um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back on tape maybe next week. I've kind of, uh, wanted to just try to whip them off as quickly as I can and get to it so I didn't have to worry about makeup or any of that crap, and, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and yeah, we'll see you next time. Later.